This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading two passages of Scripture. The first one is Matthew 14, 22-34, and the second one is John chapter 21, verse 7. You'll see that both of them are to do with boats, both of them to do with the Lord, both of them to do with sea, both of them about getting out of the boat. The question is, are you fearful or faithful? Let's have a look at fearful to begin with. St. Peter is in that first boat and it's not a nice night. The Lord is not with them. The wind is blowing the wrong way. The sea is choppy. It's dark. It's very early in the morning, somewhere between three, four, five o'clock in the morning, something like that. And they are struggling. And then across the waves comes the Lord, probably in answer to their prayers. They were saying, I wish the Lord was with us. And then he comes, but this time walking across the water. They're frightened, very frightened. And the Lord says, I am, is the divine word, divine name. I am. Be of good cheer. And Peter then asks the Lord, can I come across to you on that water? It's the right thing to ask. He wants to come closer to the Lord. And he steps out of the boat and begins to go, but he's distracted and falls into the sea. And the Lord rescues him and puts him into the boat and gives him a ticking off for being so lacking in faith. Now let's zoom ahead to after the resurrection. They're in another boat. They've gone back in a way to their ordinary life. They've not had much in the way of luck. And they're not much in the way of fish around. And the Lord begins to tell them what to do. Catch some fish. And Peter now, when he sees who it is, leaps into the water and starts swimming towards the Lord. You'll notice in both cases that he gets out of the boat and he heads towards the Lord. And that's what we need to do, to come away from our ordinary life, to come away also from our fear, to come away from the things that we think give us security, being a little boat tossed by the sea, being a little boat going about our ordinary business, making ourselves a living rather than getting out of the boat and making it off towards the Lord, even though that might mean you sink up to your neck in water, even though that means you've left behind your living, even though it might be dark and stormy, even though you know that by coming to the Lord, this means the authorities are going to come after you. Are we fearful? Are we faithful? We need to be faithful. We need to trust fully in the Lord that he is I am, that he is God himself. We need to trust in the Lord that he is indeed the resurrection and the life. We need to trust in the Lord that even though the sea looks to be choppy. The sea is made of liquid, even though we will sink into it, actually, that he will make it like dry land. We need to be faithful to the Lord, that even though our living is bringing us nothing, he will fill our nets full of fish and feed us on that bank. We need to know that the Lord will bring us to the dry land and that he will go on and heal many other people, even though it might be in a pagan area. If you carry on reading Matthew 14, you'll see that's what they do next. And so, don't be afraid. Be faithful. Be aware that when you stick out your hand, the Lord will put out his hand and rescue him. Save me, said St. Peter. Later, the Lord feeds him, but only after he shows faith.
even though the first time her faith lands him in choppy waters because he becomes distracted. Pray for me. May God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.